Welcome to this video where we'll be looking at Acid and Sons, the new acid filter by Blue Lantern Modules. This filter is Acid AF. Now this is a 6 HP low pass and band pass filter with great resonance, two audio inputs, one with an attenuator with drive, an attenuverting frequency cutoff input, volt per octave tracking, and a built-in VCA with envelope input. Now let's dive a little deeper with a more in-depth rundown of the module and hear how it sounds. Okay, first I'm gonna start by plugging the output into the oscilloscope here so we could see the waveforms that are going on. And since this is an acid filter, we're gonna start with a more acidy waveform, a sawtooth wave. I'm gonna plug that into the direct audio in and you can see we have our sawtooth waveform here. Now, if I plug it into the audio input with attenuator, turn this all the way down first, we can turn it up. And when we get to about here, we reach our base waveform and anything past this is gonna drive it and we can see what happens to the waveform. It turns a little more pulse wavy. So it has a nice good drive to it to really acid things up. Now for this patch, I'm gonna just plug it back into the main audio in and we're gonna have a sub going in to the second input here. And I can control that sub volume because it'll really drown out the other waveform if I turn this all the way up. It's worth noting I have these two coming from separate oscillators for a little bit of phase offset for a little more interesting sound. Now let's listen to the filter. I have the resonance all the way down in low pass mode and let's just hear how this sounds. Typical low pass filter. throw the resonance up. I'll just throw it all the way up. You get that nice acidy squelching in here. Now where I think the acid sound really shines is with the bandpass filter. It's much more screaming with that resonance. Now if we take both audios out and just listen to our resonance. You can see versus the low pass and the band pass. In the band pass, we have a much louder sine wave resonance. And now let's patch this up as if it were a nice full acid patch. I'm going to plug that saw wave back in and the sub back in. Now I'm going to plug an envelope into the VCA envelope in to cut its sound. So now it's just with a VCA. Now I'm going to also plug a mult of this envelope output into the frequency mod input here. Now it's worth noting that the attenuverter here is backwards. So to get in the positive range, we have to go counterclockwise. clockwise for a negative envelope, which is fine because it's an attenuverter, you just got to remember, and you'll hear it. And for this, I'm going to turn the resonance all the way up, and I'm also going to pull a mult of the volt per octave tracking from my sequence, which I'll play right now. And I'll plug its full proactive in to give us better keyboard tracking. And the key to a good acid sequence is just adding those slews in here and there. And now let's hear how it screams with the bandpass filter. 
There's pretty much just the sub and a better mix. Check to the low pass. around with the envelope length. Shorter envelope. Or slower envelope. Back to shorter. Shorter with it reversed. Let's look at molting that FM mod also into the resonance. So our resonance will peak when we get a higher envelope. And I'll turn the resonance down. And that is the Acid and Sons Acid Filter. Now let's play around with it some more and make some music. That's it for this video on the Blue Lantern Acid and Sons Acid Filter. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.